If you've been working with WordPress, you'll know that by default, it only comes with two different types of classifications or taxonomies. These are categories and tags. And you can use these taxonomies to organize your WordPress content, but these might not suit every type of website or the type of content you're working with. And that's why in today's video, I'll show you how to add custom taxonomies onto your WordPress website in a simple and easy way. Hi, I'm Yaz from Brainstorm Force, and if you're new to the channel, we're the company behind the most popular WordPress theme out there, Astra. And we create content about our latest product updates, as well as tutorials for beginners and non-coders. So if you're interested in any of that content, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on notifications. All right, let's get started with the video. What is a taxonomy? If you're hearing about taxonomies for the first time, in other words, it's kind of like a classification that helps organize your content on WordPress. Just as an example, if your website was a movie review website, you could have a taxonomy called genre, and these would be like action, comedy, romance, etc. So whoever visited your website could filter through these and find the content of that specific classification. There are also two types of taxonomy, flat and hierarchical. Flat is where all the classifications are on the same level. And then with hierarchical, each level can have a parent or child levels. So having the ability to set up custom taxonomy can benefit you by allowing you to organize your content to specific requirements for yourself and for those who visit your website. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add custom taxonomy to your WordPress website using a plugin called Pods. But before we get into installing the plugin and adding our custom taxonomy, I just want to quickly show you the demo website I'm using for this tutorial. The taxonomy or categories we'll be adding today will all be baking related because I've loaded this beautiful looking baking blog template using the Astra theme and their starter templates. With the starter templates by Astra, you can load pre-built websites just like this one and it's fully functional and it looks beautiful. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description below. Anyway, the first thing we're going to do is go into our WordPress dashboard. And once you arrive on the dashboard, go on to the left hand side and go to plugins. Then we're going to go to the top and press add new. And we're going to search for a plugin called pods. And then you'll probably see four or five different ones that say pods like here, these ones here. But the one we're looking for is called pods, custom content types and fields. You can go ahead and press install now. And then also press activate. Once it's activated, you'll see it on the bottom left of your dashboard menu over here. You can click on the menu here. And it will bring you into the pods menu. And because we haven't created any custom taxonomies yet, we have a button that says create new, or you can extend existing. But since we haven't created a new one, we're going to click create new. And that will bring you into this page here. And the first drop down currently it's set to custom post type. If you want to learn about creating custom post types, please let me know in the comments below and we can make a tutorial about that for you guys. But I'm just going to click on here and click custom taxonomy. So categories or pages, whereas custom post types is for custom posts or pages. So I'm just going to click here on custom taxonomy. And like I said, for this particular tutorial, we're going to be talking about baking ingredients because this is a baking block. So in the second bar here, we're going to type in ingredient like so. And we're also going to type in ingredients on the plural label. So this is going to be the plural label for the singular label you entered above. And once that's all filled in, we can go and hit next step. As you can see here, success, our pod has successfully been created. Now we're going to go into advanced options and we can go down here and we're going to click on posts. And that allows us to enable this taxonomy for our posts. And if you'd like to associate the ingredients taxonomy with any other asset on your website, you can do so by clicking on the respective checkbox over here. But for now, I'm just going to check posts for this tutorial. And we're also going to go up here into REST API. And we're going to enable this over here and press yes. And what this allows us to do is use our custom taxonomy within Gutenberg's block editor. And once that's enabled, that's all you have to do. Go on to the right hand side here and press save pod. All right, so our ingredients pod has successfully been created. So all the changes have already taken effect and our ingredients pod is good to go. Now you can go on the left hand side over here where it says posts. You'd already see the ingredients taxonomy added over here along with the pre-existing default ones categories and tags. So then you can click on ingredients here. Now we've arrived on the specific menu page for a new custom taxonomy called ingredients. As you can see here, ingredients, and we can add a new ingredient as well. And that's pretty cool. So just for example, we're going to add some ingredients that has something to do with baking. So I'm just going to type in stuff like chocolate. And the slug is like a URL friendly version of the name, as you can see here, you can just go ahead and write 
the same thing. And if you if you want to do it a hierarchical way, you can always give it a parent ingredient. I'll show you how to do that. You can write a little description here as well. But for now, I'm just going to press add new ingredient. And you can see that it populated into this list here. And these are our ingredients over here. So I'll just add two more. Caramel. My mind's blanking just now thinking of desserts, but uh, let's go with marshmallow just for fun. So now we got our three ingredients over here. And I'll just quickly show you how you can add a hierarchical one just as a demo. Just like that. And then we're going to press down here and it'll drop down and show you all the ingredients we've currently added. I'm just going to add this under chocolate. So we'll just like that. And if I press add new ingredient, you can see that chocolate child is now a child of the chocolate ingredient we have here, if that makes sense. And that's kind of like the basics of how you create a hierarchy when it comes to taxonomy. I'll just quickly delete this for now. We're just going to work on a basic level with the three ingredients we've created here. And now that we've added that, that's all you have to do in this menu. We can now go into our posts. And I'll quickly edit one of our existing posts. And I've got this one prepared here called Grandma's Chocolate Chip Cookie Recipe. And talking about all these desserts is starting to make me hungry. All right, I'm going to go into edit. And that will take us into Gutenberg's block editor. As you can see here, it might look something like this. And all I've done is change the blog article's name, but the rest of it was loaded as part of our Astro Starter template. All right, and what's cool is now, because we've added our custom taxonomy using pods, it will show up on the right-hand side here. See? Ingredients. And if I drop that down, it will show you the three different ingredients we just added previously. Now what you can do is go ahead and check the relevant box of the ingredient you want to associate this blog post with. It can even be multiple if you'd like to. And now we've selected the chocolate one because this is a chocolate chip recipe. And you can also go ahead and add new ones here. So if you wanted to add a new one, let's say cookies. Oh, that's not really an ingredient, so we'll just change it to cookie dough. Just like that. And it's already checked it for us. All right, so if, if you're happy with that, you can go ahead and press update. And once that's done, we've successfully associated this blog post with that custom taxonomy that we created. Pretty cool, right? And next, I'll show you what we can do with our new custom taxonomy. So if I go back into my dashboard, and we're going to go into pages, and we're going to edit a little bit of our blog page over here. And if I scroll down here, you can see that it shows you a preview of the different blog articles on our current website right here. And now we're going to modify this so that it only shows you the specific blog post associated with the taxonomy that we choose. So if I click here, on the right hand side, you can see post type and taxonomy right here. Currently, it's set to categories. When we drop that down, you can already see ingredients here. Really cool. And when we choose that down here below, you also can choose which ingredients you want to show. Currently, it's showing you anything that is part of the ingredients taxonomy. All right, when I drop this down, it will show you all the subcategories that we created that already have blog posts associated with them. And currently, it's set to all. But if I go and change this to chocolate, it will only show us a blog post that have a chocolate taxonomy associated with that blog post. So when there's multiple of them here, they will show you all of those ones here, depending on how many posts you want to show on the page down here on the settings. But other than that, you can also change it to cookie dough or any other ingredient that you have on your taxonomy category list. And that's just one way of how you can use custom taxonomies to improve or give you even more functionality when it comes to organizing the content on your WordPress website. And that's it for today's tutorial. But if you guys had any questions or got stuck along the way, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to help out. If you got value out of this video, please help us out by leaving a like. Subscribe to our channel by clicking on our logo over here. You can watch even more of our content by clicking on this playlist here. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.